Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. So by the title of the video, you guys already know we're going to be reviewing Juvia's Place's bronze collection. This collection comes with an eyeshadow palette, a duo bronzer, um, a lip liner, liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss. Now, I'm not about to get into too much talking because I'm trying to see what this collection is about. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing what it's like too, then keep on watching. So here is the palette. This is the bronze rustic palette super super cute so right off the back I definitely get more of like a sunsetty kind of feel from it especially because of this reddish orange shade right here an orange shade right here and then this brown that has a red undertone definitely gives me more sunset um but when you really look at the palette and you really look at the different combinations you can make with this you really can make some really nice looks I was like I said I definitely saw sunset right off the bat but when you really look at it you can create with these three shades right here here you can create a really nice soft um, glam look especially with this rose gold it's like a rosy yeah, it's kind of like a rose gold on your eyelid super super pretty if you I just feel like if you play with it and you really try different combinations you can create you know several looks even though it's only six um, eyeshadows so and Juvie's Place never disappoints when it comes to eyeshadows so I'm already know these is popping so next we have the dual bronzer. I have the shade Dark. And here's what it looks like. Oh, first of all, it's magnetic, by the way. We love that. And it has a mirror, which I really like because I feel like this really ups the quality of the bronzer. Um, so like I said, it is a dual bronzer, and I really like how there are two different shades that you can choose from. I'm going to tell you why. Because let's just say I wanted to have more of a dramatic... Um, you know bronzer shade on my cheeks but I wanted something really soft on like my nose and areas that you know you just don't want to be too harsh I think that's a really good idea I actually think this is gonna be perfect for my nose actually and um yeah it's definitely giving more of a bronzer kind of feel and the reason why I say that is because it definitely has like a more a really warm and red undertone to it which I really do like I do prefer my bronzers and honestly any contour I'm using I like I prefer for them to be a little bit more on the redder side just because that just gives it more of like a warmer feel so yes I'm super super excited about this and super excited to try it this shade right here kind of reminds me of um, Mocha Mommy by Fenty actually let me compare the two and see um, what they're looking like next to each other so here is my Fenty bronzer and Mocha Mommy and here is my Juvia's Place bronzer Juvia's Place's bronzer is definitely a lot more rich I feel like they are around the same shade for sure but this one is definitely a lot more rich oh that is going to go on lovely I'm so excited to try it so now to get into the lip products I didn't buy every single lip product that they have to offer but I will show you guys what I got so I got their um, lip liner in the shade doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to say this is brownie yes this is um, in the shade brownie I've used uh, Juvia's places lip liners in the I've used Juvia's Place's lip liners in the past and they're very Korean rich so I do not expect anything different this time I also picked up the liquid lipstick in the shade bronze toast it's a really nice nude shade and then I picked up their lip gloss in the shade bronze sugar which is a really nice it's like a pinky kind of nude super super pretty y'all know nude is my jam so now that I've shown you guys everything that I got, I'm going to go ahead and try all of these products. As you guys can tell, the eyebrows is fleeking, so we're just about to get into these eyes. So before that, I am going to prime my eyes with my P. Louise base. So now we can get onto these eyes. So after staring at this palette for like 10 minutes straight, I feel like I'm going to go with the soft glam option using these shades right here because I just did a recent look for you guys for my get ready with me video with very identical colors to the top row and I just don't want the looks to be the same so I think I am going to just go for these um, shades right here. So I'm going to start with the darkest shade and I'm going to put this in my outer corner. And of course Juvia's Place never plays around with that pigmentation honey if that if you don't know nothing about Juvia's Place just know their eyeshadows are always going to be a one so I'm going to pack this all in my outer corner and kind of diffuse it forward a little bit and I'm also kind of diffusing the edges of the shadow so that when I go in with my next transition shade it'll blend easy easily 
So next I'm going to go into this soft nudie kind of brown shade right here. I'm going to diffuse that into um, this shade right here. This is a very, very pretty shade. I really, really like this. A very nice transition shade. So here's what we're looking like. I think I might go back and add more of that brown shade just to darken it back up. But what I kind of want to do, because I want something a little bit darker, I'm going to go into the bronzer. And I'm going to use this shade right here in my outer corner just to really spice things up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to use... So I'm going to take this bronzer. Going to put it in my outer corner. And this is just going to really darken things up, make it very warm, which is the, you know, the look I'm kind of going for. Something warm and kind of bold. Okay, so first of all, all of these shades have blended like butter. Like I, they have been so easy to blend. They're so creamy and pigmented and like they just blend like butter. Um, which again, I'm not surprised by because Juvia's Place is just that girl when it comes to the eyeshadow. But still, I'm really glad that... Um, using this bronzer works out which I think is a really cool alternative um, if you want like a darker look because this shadow or this palette I'm sorry doesn't have the darkest browns um, but I think using the bronzer is a really nice way to darken it up a bit and give you your desired look so now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the this shade right here this is like a rose gold shimmer I think I'm gonna pop that in my or on my lid right now I think I'm going to put a little bit of what's left over from the base on my lid so that this has something to stick to. Oh, that's a really nice shade. So I think this look is turning out really pretty, really soft. Um, the shimmer shade is really, really nice. It is a rose gold, like I said. Um, it com definitely comes off more rose gold on the eye than it does look on the palette. Um, but it's really, really pretty. Again, super blendable and smooth and um, pigmented. So I think what I'm going to do next is add that bronzer back to the um, outer corners of my eyes just to really give it that defined kind of look. And then I'm probably going to end up doing eyeliner as well, which I will do all of that on camera. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So what I'm doing now, because I kind of want my outer corner to be a little bit more dark, I'm going to take this small blending brush, this by Morphe, and I'm going to blend out the edges of um, this eyeliner and kind of diffuse it into my crease. Okay, so here's what the eyes are looking like so far. I think they look really, really good. You know, we did have a little improvisation situation going on, but I think that made a really big difference in the eye look. Um, I would not have had to do this had I had the other shades of the bronzers. So the collection comes with three different shades. It comes with the tan, dark, and deep dark. And what I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers do in their reviews is they will take the deep dark bronzer and they'll use that to add more um, depth and definition to their eyes. So I would have done that had I had it, but you know, we just have to work with what we had. And I think I did a damn good job, if I do say so myself. So um, yeah, let's pop on some lashes and then let's get to the face. Okay, so my lashes are on. Now we're going to get into the face. I am probably going to speed past the face a little bit just because I want to get back into the bronzer and the other Juvia's Place products. So, yeah. Okay, so I've done my face. Now I'm about to set it. I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place um, setting powder in the shade Gobi. 
I typically, before I set my face, I always use a cream um, contour first just to have something for the actual, you know, powder contour or bronzer to stick to. But today I kind of want to just see how the bronzer does by itself. So I'm a little nervous, honestly, because I'm stepping out of my routine. But um, for you guys, I will do that. So let me just go ahead and set my face. Okay, and like I told you guys before, I am going to go into the darkest shade for like my cheeks and my forehead and then the lighter shade for my nose. So let's see what we're working with. And I'm just using a brush like this. I typically use this when I'm bronzing or contouring. Okay. Let me pull back a hair for this. Oh, but we've already got some really nice pigmentation just with that little touch. Oh, that is stunning. Wow. Okay, so by itself, this looks really good, not having anything underneath for it to stick to. This looks really, really nice and pretty. I was spot on about the more warmy um, undertone that it gives, but it looks really good. I like how that looks, actually. It looks really good. What do you guys think? I'm going to do the other side just to see the full look. That's nice. I feel like I like this side better. I didn't use as much. I kind of used a lot on this side. Um, so yeah, don't use too much <laughs> like I did. This is really pretty. This is so pretty. It's just really dramatic. And I feel like for this look, I feel like a nice... Let me just go ahead and make it even though. So we're not looking crazy. Let me go ahead and put this on my forehead a little bit. Just to bronze up my forehead a bit. So now I'm going to go into the lighter shade to do my nose and I'm just going to use this angled brush right here and we'll see if this is a nice shade for that. Okay, that's nice and soft. That's nice and soft. I like it. Still warm, but not like overbearingly warm. It's enough to give you some dimension. That looks really nice. This is very pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish my face and then come back for the lips. So I went ahead and added that brown shade from the eyeshadow to my lower lash line, added a little eyeliner and set my face and I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place um, highlighter. This is in the shade Royal One. This is a loose um, highlighter and it is potent baby potent so you don't want to use a lot I'm actually going to take one of the eyeshadow brushes that I used on my eyes and use it here I'm just going to apply some to my nose tip of my nose okay now onto my lips I'm going to go into that lip liner brownie I'm going to line my lips with this Okay, so no surprise with the lip liner, super creamy and blendable as always. And I'm going to go into that liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Bronze Toast. Mm. Oh, this smells delicious, by the way. That is really, really pretty. Oh, I love this. So now we're going to top it off with bronze sugar. Really pretty shade. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. So what I'm going to do instead, because I don't want to um, stain the tip, I'm just going to put some on my hand and then use one of my brushes to apply it.
y'all this is gorgeous this lip combo wow this is so super pretty oh, oh I love it and not to mention that this entire lip set whatever you want to call it smells delicious like you're gonna want to eat it it smells so good it smells like like cookies kind of okay you guys and here is the final look um verdict is I love this collection <laughs> I really really like it um the formula was amazing but that's not a surprise for Juvie's Place so I feel like whenever they launch something the only thing to really take note of is the color and the shades and I think they hit the nail on the head um at least with the shades that I got I know there's two more shades and there's other shades of um lipsticks or liquid lipsticks and lip glosses but the ones I got are absolutely beautiful I have no complaints whatsoever definitely adding all of this to my collection I'm really excited about this bronzer but yeah I definitely recommend this collection I don't think you can go wrong with it at all and I honestly feel like you'll like it honestly so yeah that's that's my vote <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's video I really hope it helped you if you were interested in getting this collection or if you were interested in getting a new bronzer and kind of wanted to see how it looked on someone else's skin so I really hope that it helped you with that um, comment down below what you guys think about this collection or if you have tried this collection already what are your thoughts on it again thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you liked it go ahead and subscribe leave a comment like rate all that and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.